Hi, y'all. Hide your kids. Here comes just a car because obviously I want to fuck all of your kids. Uh, at whatever age that is, that's easy to do. Uh, no, no amount of interfering with those people is is, uh, is going to be a problem. Did it a couple of weeks ago and some things about old parents being involved and age of consent. Yes, they're able to give consent. Son, daughter, you have our blessing. And oddly enough, you know, living with big old, you know, meanie, scummy me, they're both virgins. You know, the funny thing about my, my, my position is, that's where it's at if you want to do serious, rigorous, uh, hard, anyway, whatever. I don't know of any biological basis, any psychological basis, that actually precludes people of that age from, uh, the, the kind of reasoning that would be, be required to make decisions about this. That's why I argue for silly things like the law is fit for the purpose of, you know, that, that, it was, uh, that was fit to serve the purpose for which it was created. I am talking about <laughs> the law. Uh, the age of the is this, and the, uh, all the people below it are presumptively capable of this. Um, uh, at whatever age that is where most of the people there can consent, they're free to do that. Freely consenting? Freely consenting? Knock yourselves out. And then we make it extremely difficult by adding in a whole bunch of uh, needless difficulty. This is the age of consent. That's why I argue for silly things like... It makes a difference whether you, whether you uh, decide this on the basis of years, or whether you do it on the basis of months, or of weeks, or of days. Now, it is simply not true that because you, you say a person's age, that that therefore precludes their ability to reason at an adult level. Yes, they're able to give consent. The whole, the whole notion that people just at, at these young ages just don't have the mental firepower required to make these decisions is just false, even though it's true for lots and lots and lots and lots of them. And I'm saying, why don't you build in, uh, like we do in many other provisions of law, a override where it says, state your power is just turned off. We're tired of our young children, our 12-year-olds, our 13-year-olds, our 14-year-olds, uh, that when, because of the way time is computed. Uh, when you do this by month, that you can have people who can have sex with each other for part for parts of the month, but not other parts of the month. None of these laws on a, on age of consent have anything uh, or in, it will in any sense whatever be applied to anyone whose age, which we don't hit until age 11 or 12, not any sooner than that. That is the the nub of my entire argument. It is not particularly intelligent. There was no problem whatever in your camp referring to the adults preying on the kids. As, as though people of 12 or 13 or whatever, that, that poor child, that innocent child, that, that much maligned child, how could they have done this to a child? Maybe you just haven't seen any of them naked, so you don't know that they're actually, uh, they've actually gone through puberty. I do use the word children on purpose.